me a priest. Ah, yes, you can see it now. Wait a minute. It all started last Sunday, after Mass. Well, thank you, Peter. That Mass went well. Good-sized congregation this morning. Yeah, it was good. I liked your homily. I never really thought of Jesus that way. So, what's up for the rest of the day? I have to head over to the mall for my summer job. I gotta earn some cash for university this fall. Oh, that's great. What university did you pick? I got accepted into three of my choices, but I'm gonna settle for U of T. It will be cheaper since I can live at home. I'm starting with a general degree and try to figure things out as I go along. Not sure what I want to do yet. Mm, did you ever think of being a priest or a missionary or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding, Father. Me? A priest? I don't think so. Father, I don't think that lifestyle is for me. With all due respect, I want something more exciting. Well, Peter, believe me, there is more to it than that. It's not just what you see here in the church. As I said in my homily, Jesus Christ spent his life out there engaged with the people. Father Joe did talk about this in his sermon, about how his religious order, the Spiritans, work all over the world. They are really out there meeting the people where they live, people who really need help. There are 3,000 priests and brothers working closely with dedicated men and women in many different situations. And they've been doing it for over 300 years. Wow, I never realized that you guys were involved in all that stuff. It's not the type of good news that gets into the newspapers. I suppose so, Father. But I don't think I'm cut out for that kind of stuff. I mean, I'm not special or holy, and I'm still pretty young. Well, you never know. God has plans for all of us before we know it. Our congregation, the Spiritans, was founded by a very young man, not much older than you. Father Joe had talked about him in his sermon as well. His name was Claude Poulard de Passe. He was a university student. He was not even a priest yet, and he just saw the need to help people and acted on it. He saw some poor students around him who did not have enough to eat, who could hardly afford their education, and Claude just started helping them out. Before you knew it, he had started a religious congregation dedicated to educating people and helping people. Today, 300 years later, all over the world, that little step of kindness by young Claude has grown into the Spiritans. He didn't set out to found a religious congregation. Like you, he was just a university student, but God had plans. And well, as they say, the rest is history. You can check out more about Spiritan priesthood and missionary life on our website, spiritans.com. Okay, Father, I'll do that. See you around. So, let's take a look at this website, spiritans.com. Do you want more out of life? It's something to think about. <laughs>